Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about warfarin counselling. Warfarin is an anticoagulant, so it prevents clots from being formed. It's a vitamin K antagonist and it is used for DVT, pulmonary embolisms and atrial fibrillation. So let's get into the video. So when you counsel warfarin or any drug, it's very important to explain what the drug is and how it works. So warfarin is an anticoagulant. What you need to explain to them is that it prevents clots from being formed and essentially it thins the blood. The next step is to explain the dosage instructions the prescriber has told them to follow. And you also need to explain to them it's very important to take warfarin at the same time every single day. This is usually at 6pm because if they get their blood test results the following morning of their INR, they can change their dosage time on the same day. You need to explain to them that there is a risk of bleeding with warfarin because it is an anticoagulant. It prevents clots from being forming, meaning it, there is a risk of bleeding. So it is important to report any unexplained bruising and bleeding. Also, if they take a tooth out, they need to tell the dentist because they can get excessive bleedings. And if they do have any operations, it is very important to um, inform the doctor or the surgeon. You need to explain to them drugs like aspirin, clopidogrel and NSAIDs can increase their bleeding risk. So it is important for them to avoid these drugs. You need to let the patient know about warfarin interactions. So they need to avoid cranberry juice and grapefruit juice. However, if they say they really, really like drinking cranberry juice or grapefruit juice, you can advise them to take the juice at a separate time to the dosing. Warfarin also interacts with alcohol, so you need to advise them to stop drinking alcohol or reduce the alcohol intake and drink alcohol at a separate time to the dosage of warfarin. You need to advise them to have a consistent diet. This is because green vegetables such as kale, spinach or broccoli are high in vitamin K. So it can potentially interact with warfarin and affect the INR. So don't drastically change um, your green vegetable diet. You need to explain to them if they do miss a dose, if they forget to take a dose, they need to contact their GP to notify them because the INR, INR can change. So the GP will advise them accordingly. It's very important to explain to them about the monitoring requirements with warfarin, so the INR. INR stands for International Normalised Ratio and the test basically provides some information about the person's blood tendency to clot, so how thin or thick the blood is. So when a person is started on warfarin um, at the start, they will have an appointment every other day to measure their INR then it will be weekly and once a month then if the INR is stable it will, could go up to every 12 weeks. You need to tell them their target INR so for example atrial fibrillation target INR is 2.5 plus or minus 0.5. If they have recurrent DVT their INR could be 3.5. If the patient has newly started warfarin, you need to give them a yellow booklet. You need to explain to them that the yellow booklet contains information about their past appointments and their future appointments booked. It also contains information about their previous INRs. So as a pharmacist, when the patient comes into your pharmacy, you need to ask to see the yellow booklet and see how their INR is going and if they are attending the appointments. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you need to counsel them and explain to them about the side effects of warfarin, which is, um, I have said before, the excessive bleeding. However, they can get some GI effects such as nausea or vomiting. But you need to explain to them that these are rare, it doesn't really happen to people. However, if it does happen, please contact your GP. Also, if appropriate, you need to let them know that warfarin is teratogenic, so... You need to avoid it in pregnancy, contact your GP about this. And also, as I mentioned before, aspirin and clopidogrel, NSAIDs, they're all contraindicated because it can increase the risk of bleeding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback or would like any more videos, please write it in the comments below. If I have made any mistakes, please let me know. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. See you in the next video.